Hello guys, in this video we are going to be seeing how many cubes of lag by Sailboat27 it takes to crash the game. So anyways, yeah, enjoy. So this is 10 cubes. Um, we're basically just standing at the table in midair. There they go, they've spawned. Yeah, we basically aren't moving much. This is basically where um, we don't get much progress. This is basically how it stays for the entire time. Yeah, as I said, that wasn't going to make any more progress, so I just made the big jump to 40. And, um, yeah, as you can see, this is not even going to load in because of how much there is. So, yeah, I'm going to consider this as crashing the game, or at least disabling it, because it doesn't work. Like, eventually that menu doesn't disappear. So I'm going to say that disables it, and, um, yeah, see you next time. Hello people, in this short series we will be building Titan Cinema Man from Skibbity Toilet. So what I did is I built a, like a TV here, then I put red spotlights in the front with the red screen ability. What I also what I did after that is I pasted the TV head I made onto a mech. The mech will flash on screen right about now. And now we got basically the body of Titan Cinema Man. Now what we need to do is just um, redesign this, the mech to actually fit Titan Cinema Man's body. And yeah, we'll continue in the next episode. Bye. So, the long video for um, the hospital ship build, um, kinda had some technical difficulties with it. The microphone was doing some funky stuff. So, yeah, I kinda can't really use that footage anymore. We added equipment, so we got all this equipment here. I um, we added seats in here as well. We added an armory. We also decreased the amount of lights to hopefully decrease the lag. I also added, um, some extra defibrillators to the medical area by the heaters. I also added this, this thing. This, there's things where if you go down it, you will get access to the crew cabin. I, I already did a video on making those. The light is huggable with the player sensor. I changed the seating a little bit in the bridge, that way it'd look a little more filled out. Um, we also got the exterior lights in, and it's a lot less laggy. I mean, it, it looks like this at night, so it, it's still decently lit, and it doesn't lag, so that's good. We fixed that, and we can have all the lights on, no lag. And, and yeah, that's basically what we did, so yeah, bye. We are back with another Schwartz video on the Titan Cinema Man build. We added speakers along with the helicopter blades. Um, we also made his arms normal. And we added a jet turbine to help him jump, which can just be activated by turning up the throttle. As soon as you want him to stop jumping, you can just turn off the throttle and he'll come back down to Earth. Or you can just go straight up and throw the sky if you really want to. And, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically it. Bye. Let's go guys, devs fixed some major bugs. 
Um, they resolved ship buoyancy and gravity issues, and they fixed jet engines. So they now work up to higher altitudes, and they reduced the weight of SRB fuel. So, W update from the devs. Hello, people. Today we will be flying this rocket. And yeah, welcome to the series where we look at other people's rockets and see how much better they are than mine. One thing I'm noticing is that it's definitely a lot more stable. Oh, this I just I just realized how to pipe up something. That that um the oxygen in your seat, you actually hooked it up to a gas tank. Um I thought you just I hooked I thought you hooked that up to a seat. One thing I noticed is this person actually hooked up the controls correctly. Which I did not do, I thought I did. Um, you know, with gimbal X, gimbal Z. I thought X would go on to A and D and the Z would go on to W and S, but I guess not. Because you can see it starts slowing backwards. Mine does this. I think this is ultimately inevitable. Yeah, bye. Hello people, today we are going to go into space without a rocket ship. It might be hard to believe, but yes, we are going to do that using the nanonator. Yeah, reality that will flash on screen right now. And yeah, here we go. Oh, I forgot there's enough clear damage. Let's try that again. We are going to be going to space without a rocket. Here we go. There we go. Normally, this would descend you to the Shadow Realm, an area with an infinite ocean, but no, since we got space, we are going to go out of the atmosphere and into space. Cool, right? Yeah, we're already in space. It's starting to glitch out. The moon's- oh yeah, this is way faster than any rocket. Wait, are we actually gonna like, land on the moon with this? Anyways, it looks like we're gonna overshoot the moon. We, you can see it both in the same view. And yeah, bye. Yep. Yeah, one of the things they added was Titan TV Man's trench coat. Um, see, so yeah, I think it looks decent. As you can see, it looks more like a dress, but ignore that. I, I tried. Um, I also added his claws, as you can see. Um, I added purple in between them, just so it would look more like, just so it had the purple hue. Um, also there's gonna be no long form videos this week, since I spent all weekend on this. So I didn't actually make any long form videos. So, yeah, fine. Hello everyone, here's some more progress on the Titan Cube Man build. The screens look better, so you know you got the small screens on the side of his head. I haven't got the shoulder screens done yet. Those are coming. Um, the core is spinning now. Um, you can change the color of the screens to do like the different, the different glows, like the orange glow, um, the red glow, and the purple glow. And then overall, you can just change it back to white. And yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much everything. So yeah, see you next time, I guess. Um, yeah, see you next time. Hello everyone, we are back with 9 TV Man build again. Um, as you can see, I added his shoulder screens as well as the screen on his belt. Um, then they also can change colors like the rest of them. Um, I also added the like the guns on top of his head. I couldn't really get him to work with um, robotic pivots, so I kind of had to use robotic pivots. So it's a little glitchy, but it works. I can't get them to fire because I don't have room to, to fire any mechanism in there. And um, yeah, that's basically what I've done. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.